Good evening everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this uh, tutorial, I'll be talking about finding PII data in your data lakes, creating reports with AWS, Macy, Athena and QuickSight. So essentially, we are going to leverage all these services on, on AWS to essentially detect the PII data in our data lake. We want to know if there is any credit card information or name, phone number, stuff like that. If you had to manually scan the data lake, it's a tedious job, right? But there is a tool called AWS Macy that I would like to show you in this video. All right, enough of talking. Let's go back straight into action. Couple of definition and then there is a lab. Uh, Amazon Macy is a fully managed data security and data privacy service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and protect your sensitive data in AWS. Looking at, uh, so what was the stuff with Macy, right? Uh, well, uh, looking at each sensitive data, finding Macy generated and displays in the console can be time consuming and does not provide a detail on, on, on the scope of what was found in the overall job. So what the author is saying is that when you run a Macy job, right, and I'll show you how to create one, uh, it's not quite clear because uh, the, the way Macy generates report, for example, if you click here, uh, show in finding, it's not that, you know, friendly. Well, I, if, you know, so here, as you can see, it generates a lot of stuff, not quite readable in a reported format. So I'll show you how to do all that. Okay. So first thing that I'll do is let's create a job. Let's call this. Uh, we want to remember, we want to do this on uh, my bucket called Somilsha 1995. I'll click next. Um, so that's the bucket there where I want to run my job. Click next. I want to do a one-time job. So I'll click on one time. I want to uh, do all right because I want to crawl over all uh, next I'll, I would say YouTube job right I'll put in description you can tag it if you want to you know monitor your cost so I'll do that and as you can see it's zero dollar estimated for this one so it's pretty good I'll submit the job and as you can see now the job is running behind the scene I've already run a job and I already uh, did set up the destination so as you can see here uh, all the results will go to a bucket called AWS Macy PI report, right? So now heading over back to S3, I uh, just want to show you how the files are generated. So it will create a folder called log, then essentially you'll have your account number, then the service Macy, then the region, and then your job ID, right? So uh, I'll be showing you on this job, right? So essentially here you have, um, again, a partition, and then you have these files, GZ files. So uh, thanks to AWS uh, samples, so they essentially made reporting very easy with a piece of cake. So uh, I'll show you how easy it was. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed, right? So they have uh, given all the queries here. So uh, this is the SQL query that I'm going to copy paste. Uh, all I need to do here is just replace my S3 path. Okay, so I'm going to head over back to my Athena. Okay, I will delete uh, this table so I can show you. So... Uh, let me copy that for you, delete. All right, so the table has been deleted, right? So now, as you can see, I'm, I copy pasted this and I essentially um, pasted my S3 uh, URL, uh, URL uh, here. Now I'm running this. So what this does is it creates a, a Macy table here, right? Now I can come here and say preview table. Uh, so this will give me my account ID, you know, all, 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 all the thing that Macy has done, schema version, title, severity type, blah, blah, blah. So now coming back to this repository, this is really, really amazing. So they have done most of the job for you. So for example, let's say you want to work with, they have SQL queries. Let's say, I'll show you an example quickly. So for example, ah, oh, damn it. So provides a count of a specific job ID grouped by the classification result code. So there are like examples, provide the total bytes classified by a specific job ID. So you can, you know, click on any one of um, them, whatever, based on what analysis you want to do. Uh, you have a SQL query here, right? I already have copy pasted a couple of them here. Uh, so now, as you can see, uh, I simply have to replace the table name. And now this shows me that the job ID, this category was personal information was detected. So, so the name was detected in my S3, in my data lake, total 21 uh, objects have been detected. Then I ran other query. So this is the bucket. You could have multiple buckets too. So right, this is giving you aggregation on a bucket level. So it found that in, in my bucket, Somilsha 1995 uh, code is complete. Total object count is 17. It gives you that. 
uh, here it gives you the bucket name the object key right and what information Macy found for example here it found personal information and the typist name remember phone number address whatever it has you'll have various type here and associated count right how many name item it found in the JSON so it's one right now here in that so you could do that as well uh, as you can see now this is more on account level in my account um, how many objects do I have so I have 17 you could do that way then the next thing that I want to show you is um, you know quick site right so now uh, you know if you want to build BI dashboards on the top of this it's very very easy so now assuming let's say uh, let's take a SQL query for example and I'm just gonna show you say you want to build dashboard right you want to see how many type uh, how many categories have been detected by Macy right you want to visualize that so the business told you that so now I can come new data set I can come to Athena somewhere oh yeah here so now I'll select um, you know of course I'm gonna delete it because it's, it, Athena is not free right you have to pay money it's a charge so I'll select my data catalog as default I'll select the table that I want to do here I'll use custom SQL I'll uh, come here to my Amazon Athena I'll copy paste the SQL confirm the query here and now as you can see I have that filtered data I'll click on direct query with your data and I'll click on visualize now I have uh, a way to essentially to build a very beautiful dashboard so I'll just click on the count uh, let me see how many items are there so total there are 17 objects uh, as you can see that Macy has you know scanned now I can you know quickly as I said I can add uh, if you want you can add object keys and you could make it as a graph uh, if you want to you know have tables you can you know show top five top ten as you can see so now uh, I'm, 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 I'm generating beautiful graphs right so you could do that now you could build dashboards right so now let me show you quickly so now you could build dashboard based on account level bucket level whatever you want right I, I can go to theme right uh, I always have problem with the dark theme I don't know why sometimes <laughs> I was able to select it sometimes not not sure why but uh, but yeah this is your dashboard right so let me try one more time yeah it's fine I don't want to do themes so now this is my dashboard now I can share with my colleagues I can publish the dashboard right uh, I can share with my co-workers here uh, if I want to share my analysis I can share with a particular username you could put that here in uh, you could also send a PDF so you can click on download PDF and in a second or two now it's gonna download a PDF report uh, with um, my analysis right so hopefully pretty soon it would do that you can also print it of course you can print the report so 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 as you can see you have so many options now to do right now uh, you can build so many dashboards here you know that will tell you okay whether the data was encrypted did you found any PI data what was the category so a lot of queries has been uh, given here in this repository I'll leave the links here in the description so if you're looking for an easy way essentially to find PII data and essentially reports on your data lakes I think Macy is something that you wanna try and explore as I said this is very very easy to create a jobs on Macy SQL queries have been given uh, here for you uh, so it makes your life much 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 easy so now remember you can always come here uh, so as you can see this one is still running you can come you can come here uh, sorry you can come here you can always you know click on show finding show classification you can you know uh, come here and uh, read on the dashboard on the console or if you if you like what you say if you like Athena then you can use Athena create uh, aggregation reports so as you can see low medium nothing crazy high right so uh, that's good so I hope this video has provided some nice insights about AWS Macy and how you can create reports uh, using Athena and visualize that using QuickSight. This is a very quick way if you have a data lake or if you have a lot of buckets and you want to uh, generate reports, uh, you could run Macy, you could create a job in Macy and then you can essentially visualize that on a dashboard on QuickSight. Uh, as said, uh, you know, uh, if you want to orchestrate all the steps you can use AWS step function where first you essentially create a Macy job maybe based on a schedule monthly weekly daily or on demand once a job is created uh, you know you could run uh, glue crawlers right or you could create essentially workflows in glue that hey you know um, essentially create an you know run an aggregation or you know 
on, 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 on your catalog data that you have, right? Run an aggregation or select particular column. Then you can run glue crawlers so that will update your metadata or catalog. Then you can run standard SQL queries. You can easily build pip pipelines if you want using step functions and lambdas. You can orchestrate everything. Um, you can even, I, I'm not sure, I, I think there's a way you can send uh, reports from QuickSight uh, to an email. You can maybe uh, leverage the use of Boto3 and use SES, a uh, simple email service by Amazon, send reports by, on weekly, monthly basis. A lot you can do, right? You can really go crazy, right? So I hope you have enjoyed a small insight on the, on, on the video and, and on the project as well. Uh, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you had any more questions regarding Macy, uh, do let me know in the comment section below and shout out to my co-worker April. Um, she, uh, you know, was working on this and she shared some beautiful insight about the project. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming and I would see you guys in the upcoming next